What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mr. Joe's Baseball Show. I'm coming at you today with the Net Play Classic League playoffs. We were playing our round one matchup here against Boomerang, bro. We finished at uh, second seed in the uh, in the regular season, so we're coming in against the third seed here in playoffs against Boomerang, bro. We went two and zero during the regular season. This is a best of three series, and uh, I'm going to be the home team in game one since I am the higher seed. So, without further ado. Let's get into the game here. Uh, the set count is all even in this one at 0-0, uh, zero zero, obviously, as we are going into the first game. I'm feeling pretty confident going into this one. I've played really well against Boomerang Bro so far. We've had some good games, but uh, I did come out on top both times. We're pitching with Peach this time. Uh, we kind of stuck with Peach for the most part during this uh, Classic, and it's worked out pretty nicely. And uh, we're hoping to do some more of the same here. Now, his team is pretty scary. Uh, well, that's a, that's a tank. I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and say right now, I don't like Baby Mario at all. I know I've said it a lot during this uh, classic. I'm firmly in that spot. I do not like Baby Mario. So, uh, quick first inning there. You know, we're going to lead off with Magic Koopa here. And I'm pretty happy with this line of construction. I've been rocking it for a while. We get the bobble, but he does recover in time to get the out. Hold on. We're going to adjust my lights because I can't really see anything. Whoa. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I I like this team composition. I like having like the Wario into uh, w the Waluigi into Wario behind my my best two hitters. So it's worked out pretty well for us so far. Hoping to keep it rolling that way. And that's a that's a wacky hit from Waluigi. You don't see that too often. I, I tried to stretch it to two. I was thinking maybe I could get something going, but unfortunately not the case. Now, I love this Wario Kim, and there's a reason for it. It's because you can do that, but you get the low tragedy. Unlucky. Uh, with a higher trajectory there, I'm definitely uh, putting that over the fence, obviously, on the perfect. So, a bit of unlucky trajectory there, but we got Yellow Fellow up. We love the Yellow Fellow. You guys have seen him this whole time. He's been doing great for us in this classic, and uh, looking to put one over the fence here with him. And unfortunately, we're going to get jammed up, but it's right into No Man's Land, which is actually going to bring a run around and move the run to the third. That's pretty much just luck right there. That's that's pure lucking out on a, on a bad hit. And you know what? That's that's Mario Baseball for you. Sometimes you, that's, that's what's going to happen. You just got to take it, and you got to, you know, you got to take every run that's given to you. And that's a beautiful hit by Shy Guy. Going to bring in another run. Now we got Yellow Shy Guy up, a 2-0 lead here early first inning right now of uh of this game and we're feeling good we're feeling really good and look at that right into the gap toadette can't get to it a third run coming around here for my team the wario garlics and everything's firing on all cylinders right now we're feeling great everybody's getting hits we're almost wrapping our lineup in the first inning we're gonna go for the peach fl uh, flower ball heart ball whatever you want to call it he does field it properly but I was just, you know, I was feeling it. Why not, right? Three runs off five hits in the first is beautiful. So we're just going to try to hold on to that lead. And, uh, you know, we will find ourselves a game one victory. <laughs> Unfortunately, Wario is not interested in fielding that ground ball. So, you know what? A free base runner. Uh, he got the bobble and recovered last inning. I was not able to do the same. And then Baby Mario, that was a bad play on my part. Uh, I'm so used to having sliding catch in the outfield that I just went for it. And he's actually going to get in there safely. Just barely. I do not know how he was safe there. Uh, gotta watch the replay on that one because... I don't know, man. That didn't look safe to me. Luckily for us, his luck with uh, with Pianta, not as, uh, not as significant as ours. But he does get the sack fly. Again, a close play at the plate, and the laser just not coming up to matter. I really think King Boo should have been out, but, you know, whatever. We're not going to dwell on it. Beautiful hit from Toadette right up the middle. Uh, only one away in this inning so far, and the lead is already sliced down to one, so he's been uh, really working to uh, bring this one back. And I think, uh, obviously lucky with that double play there, I think that maybe Peach Pitcher, I mean, I know Peach Pitcher isn't that great. She's okay, but I think that might hold our team back a little bit since uh, our offense is really strong, but the uh, you know the pitching just doesn't get it done. Unfortunately, not getting that star chance, but another shot at it. And we're looking to pick up two. Oh, bounces right over the star. That would have been awesome. The double star on that, but unfortunately not. PD up, though. Looking to make something happen. I've been really good with PD during this entire uh, this entire classic. Couldn't get that one, though. 
I I think I might have been able to hit that one. Kind of kind of adjusted a little bit, like uh, under adjusted, I guess you could say. Probably was hittable, but unfortunately not the case. Beautiful Waluigi hit. That's why, you know, when you're playing Mario Baseball and you're, you're thinking to yourself, is Waluigi a top 10 character? I just want to just look at a hit like that, you know? He plays top tier defense. He's got top tier offense. Just look at that. He's, he's a thing of beauty. And I think of absolute beauty. And then we're going for the garlic. Unfortunately, half of it is going foul, making this very easy to catch. And he's just going to settle under the fair one. That's that's all you got to do. Uh, Wario Garlic's not that good. I like it. It's funny. But it's not that good. And we're back at it. Top of the third. A little bit of lag there. Don't worry about it. That's getting NATO'd. And uh, a beautiful kick off the NATO is going to give him a double. So what can you do about that? Not too much. That's just the field. The outfield's a little weak on this team. I know, like, Shy Guy, Shy Guy, Baby Mario is not a great outfield. And that is a beautiful hit from Madge to make it runners on the corners. And this is scary. You know, this is the top of his lineup. He's got Boomerang, uh, Hammer Bro up. Uh, this is a scary situation. And he's going to try to make the most of it here uh, and take the lead with his heavy. And uh, that is exactly what he's going to do. Hits that one way to the wall. That's going to bring around one run. I can't play the ball properly, so there's a chance it brings around two. He's going to hold up Madge. I think Madge could have scored there because Piata probably was getting the wind up. It's hard to say for sure. But you know what? Play it safe with your captain coming up. Diddy Kong, at the worst, is going to get you a sack fly uh, in this situation. So you may as well just keep the runner on. And, you know, I miss first base. Get the out at home. Not so bad. Obviously, would have liked the double play, but Waluigi not able to get over to the bag there. Uh, game's all tied up right now. King Boo looking to crack it open, and uh, he absolutely smashes Blum. But don't worry, Baby Mario's going to get there, right? Hmm. That's weird. I thought he would have gotten there. But no, this character's ass. He's terrible. So what can you do, right? What can you do? That brings up Noki, and he's been really good with Noki Falcon Pop. I didn't even throw him a super good pitch there, and that's why he got a little bit uh, a little bit too much distance, so that worked out well for us, but it, it looked pretty good off the bat. Now, this is a tough situation for him. I'm not sure why he sent his runners there. I guess he's trying to score on the single to right field with Pianta, but just does not make it happen. Uh, he does take the lead, though, so, you know, it's a little unfortunate for us. However, Yellow Fellow... We've been good, like I said. We've been nice with him. He has a single, RBI single earlier in the game. Unfortunately, not going to replicate it. Almost lands in no man's land, but Toadette actually the one catching that. It looked like Green Toad was going to be the guy. Uh, that's a little strange, right? Oof, that was a prime pitch to Falcon Pop. I over-adjusted a little bit. That's kind of how you get people on those inside pitches. And then the one that I make contact with that would have been good for Falcon Pop, I didn't use a star. So that's unlucky. Miss, miss out on a star there and use one. Not what you really want to see. And that's a 1 2 3 inning, you know. Sometimes you guys just go down an order like that. There's nothing you can do. I mean, it's tough. It's tough out here sometimes, guys. It's tough out here. And now he's got a uh, He's got the the blue blob up and that is a beauty of a hit. No shot baby Mario gets that because he is ass. He's terrible. Absolutely terrible. And you know what? That is what it is. Sometimes when you're playing classic, you're going to have bad characters on your team. That's how it goes. Beauty of a bunt there. We are going to get the out, but uh, moves the runner over very nicely. You know, just trying to manufacture as many runs as he can. And uh, going for the slice on the grounder, I respect it. But what I respect even more is uh, is toad charge swings. And when you toad charge swing, sometimes you get perfect dingies. And that's exactly what he does. Oh, my God. A toad home run to give him a 6-3 to three lead in this game. I mean, look, you can't even be mad about that. He squared it up perfectly. Put that over the left field fence. Beautiful stuff. And he's still cooking. He's got more toads. More toads. You'll love to see the corn pop homer. Green toad not going to get it done. Waluigi puts it away. Two outs now. I would love to see how many home runs were hit by toad during the classic just overall. Because I don't have a toad, so I don't really know. I have toadette, but it doesn't really count. Hey, 6'9". Now here we are, bottom four, trying to uh, get back in the groove, get some runners on. It's a beautiful way to start the inning. Peach with a really nice single there to right field. Uh, that's basically the perfect Peach hit. Most characters aren't catching that. Maybe Yoshi, because he's busted, but that's about it. And then Baby Mario coming in, trying to undo all our work. I thought it was... Okay. I was going to say, I thought that was going to get NATO'd. It looked like it wasn't for a second. But uh, Baby Mario, don't worry. He's going to pop that up. Going to be an out. It is what it is. It's honestly better than a double play, which definitely is possible with Baby Mario, you know. 
Oof, that was a nasty strike. I probably could have hit that for a star, but I didn't want to get jammed. And instead, I just get double played with freaking Madge. So that's unlucky. You know, I'm yelling at Baby Mario all this time. Magic Koopa, sleeper agent, taking out our guys. What are we supposed to do? Who knows? All right, scary situation again, because you got Bro up, and Bro's going to do something like that. However, Baby Mario getting under it. Jumping so there's no chance he bobbles that we cannot leave anything to baby Mario because that character is ass And then Diddy Kong pulling the ball not what you want to do with Diddy Kong you want to hit oppo And uh, he's gonna get out there so pretty pretty quick workings on this inning and then oh king boo Didn't move my wall jumper that did not go over the fence. Can we uh I wish we could take another look at that because that definitely did not go over the fence. Uh, that was ridiculous. You should go back and check that out because there's no shot. That was a home run. I'm tight. I'm pissed about that one, to be honest. Peach is tired. We got to bring in the reliever, War uh, Waluigi. Now, he's a great pitcher. He's probably a better pitcher than Peach is. I just like him more at first base, personally. I think I think he's a little nicer there. He's got the cam with Madge. He's got the good defense. And, uh, you know, Peach doesn't really have a better position. So that's kind of why we're running her at the pitcher's mound. But, you know. It is what it is. Petey Piranha coming to bat here, bottom five. A meatball. Absolute meatball down the middle. Sometimes the meatball mixes you up, though. You never know. Nice single, though, to get on base. Obviously not what you're looking for with Petey, but when you push the ball like that, you're actually better off with a low trajectory because the fly ball will uh, will actually turn out to get you out. And what was I saying about Waluigi before? He's a top-tier batter. Look at that. A beautiful hit from Walu, making it second and third for Wario. He's got the chemistry. He's looking to bring us within one, and he smashes one down the line. Off the foul pole, this game is a one-run ball game. Wario, the captain, our freaking guy, getting it done there. Beautiful stuff, bringing us within one run here in the bottom of the fifth. We're right back in this ball game. It was looking a little grim for a minute, but we're feeling good. We got a star chance. We have the star advantage. Ooh, unfortunately, didn't pull that one enough. Hit right at the second baseman. We do lose a star chance. Not a big deal. Falcon pop character up. Not going to go for it because uh, no one on base. Not a great part of my lineup. Uh, kind of just trying to work through it. It wasn't a star chance either. Here would have been nice to have that shy guy up because we would have gone for a Falcon pop. But we end up losing the star chance. All tied up at stars, but the game has been brought within one. It is seven to six here going into the second half of this game. Sixth inning, he's leading off with Blue Blob. I love the Blue Blob. My favorite Pianta variant, probably. However, Wario loves picking up those line drives like it's his job, man. It's his job. And Toadette going for a line drive and... Can you believe that? I bobble it. I bobble it after missing the dive. I get KO bobbled. That is brutal. If I dove, he probably would have just, you know, caught it and gotten the out. Going for it again with uh, with Yellow Toad. We are going to pick up one out. Don't get the double play, unfortunately. So forget Toadette. Essentially a, a, a corn pop single there. Now uh, the chemistry with the Toads. He did it once. Can he do it again? Strike two. This is, you know, two whole... To Two toad home runs in one game. That's something you don't recover from. However, uh, not going to be the situation here. Baby Mario going to get under this one and put it away for the end of the inning. So Baby Mario making sure that I don't hit him anymore during that inning. However, he's got another shot right here because he's on deck in the sixth inning. Peach lead off. A beautiful hit once again. Really, really nice hitting from Peach back to back there. Uh, her bat's not as bad as you might think. It's not great by any means, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And now we're going for the steal with Peach. Why not? It actually got us out of the double play ball there. So, not a bad situation that we're working with there. Now we got uh, we got Madge up. A good situation to advance the runner. Maybe even score the runner off of good uh, off a good star hit. But we do find ourselves down 0-2. I am willing to invest the second star here. I didn't. But honestly, obviously it was good that I didn't because I missed altogether. But it would have been good. Now, easiest walk to Petey, you know, Waluigi probably not scoring Peach from second. However, we remember what happened when Wario came up last time, and Waluigi is still the GOAT. Look at that hit. Load him up for Wario. We got options. We can go for the Garlic. We can go for the Charge Swing. However, I'm greedy. You remember that last homer. I want it again. I want the Grander. Go three and then four with Wario, and we actually go for the Garlic and pull that like crazy. Now we find ourselves 0-2 here. And obviously going for the charge swing, lay off that outside pitch. You got to stay a little patient. He throws it again, though. The patient's out the window. We strike out, leave the bases loaded, unfortunately. Still a one-run ball game. We're still feeling all right. Our offense is working well. But his offense is at the top of the lineup here. Let's see if we can work through it. Starts it off with a pull match star hit. Baby Mario fields it, uh, but we do go uh, 
We give up the star for star there. Not ideal. However, we got bro up. We got our wall jumper in right field. Let's see if we can make this play here. It's crushed. Baby Mario, can he make it? Oh, the wall jump and he misses the ball. Oh my god, what is that, man? He wall jumped in everything and he just can't come up with it. Unfortunate there for Baby Mario. So now we got runners on second and third and what should have really been a, uh, a first with one out, but Baby Mario just barely missing that one because he's a tiny little baby and he's ass. And that's a beautiful slice of the... Uh, of the banana ball. Baby Mario going to field that. Give up a double to Diddy Kong. Two runs come across. It's 9-6. to six, Starting to slip back away a little bit. We got to get our offense going in the bottom of this inning. However, this inning has to end first. And we got King Boo up. Obviously, King Boo an absolute monster threat here. Maybe should switch my wall jumper to left field, but I didn't really think about it. Not that big of a deal, considering Baby Mario sucks and he can't wall jump anything. Anyway, Shy Guy cuts that one off nicely, but the run's still going to come across. He's going to second. We actually get him in the rundown. Let's see if we can win it here. We cannot. Waluigi taking a sweet-ass time to get to second. So an RBI single for King Boo. It's 10-6. to six. We're not feeling great here in the seventh inning. We got to get out of this inning. Still no outs. We got to get somebody out here. And luckily, no Falcon Pop means Noki's going to pop out there for the first out in the inning. Bringing up yellow, uh, Blue Blob. Just missed that one. I thought he could have. I thought he could have taken that ball for a ride there. Goes for it. We're not going to get the double play. Unfortunately, we're actually not even going to get the out at second at all. I'm surprised that Wario wasn't there in time. It kind of lagged a little bit, so you guys didn't really see it. But uh, it really felt like that should have been at least an out at second. But unfortunately, we did not get that out. We did get the out at first still, luckily. And then Toadette going to put one right over to Peach, and she can't make the play. King Boo's going to come around, and the runners are going to get held up. Luckily. So, he tried to pull up a bit of base running shenanigans. We were able to make something happen. He's going to steal second. Uh, it's pretty much a free steal. However, we are going to play the base running game here, and he is going to win. I thought I would have had him at third. Just missed it, I guess. And now he's going to run her on uh, third base and second base with Toad up. Looking to put one over the fence. However, he does line it. Oh, and unfortunately for us, we're not going to get the play. The play at the plate, though, two runs come across, and it's 12 to 6. His lead is uh, now double our score. We're not feeling great here. Not a lot of time left in this game. He takes one uh, in the foul territory there. Can Shy Guy make the play? Yes, he can. Ends the inning, but five runs coming across in the seventh. We're at a six-run deficit now. Middle of our lineup. We really got to start charting through this lineup if we want to make something happen in this game. And you know what? Yellowfellow says, all right, if you want to go through the lineup, I'll get us a home run here. Solo shot to lead off the bottom of the seventh. Exactly what we needed. It's 12-7. to 7. Diddy Kong knocked out of the game. So now uh, the starter's gone. It should be a little easier to rack up runs here. We got King Abu up now. Let's see what we can do here in the seventh inning. I think this is an opportunity to use the Falcon Pop. you got to move through your lineup. There's a star chance. Uh, hindsight, obviously, 2020. Looks like I'm not going for it here. I probably would have gone for it uh, if I were playing right now. But you know what? It is what it is. A nice hit, but Toadette, such an elite right fielder. I, I, I love Toadette in right field. She's so good there. Does a great job of uh, fielding that position. The best right fielder in the game, without question. And uh, she's not going to get this one, though, because he misplays it. But it's going to go into foul territory and just misses it. Maybe with a jump there would have had it. However, that one may be going to get through. No, Noki can make the play. Gets the star chance. So uh, a bit unlucky for us, unfortunately. But we do bring across a run. However, top of the lineup coming up once again here in the eighth. He did turn through that whole lineup and leads it off exactly the same as last inning. Baby Mario fields it off a hop. But the star chance going the way of Boomerang Bro. And now once again... Hammer bro at the plate last time around baby Mario couldn't field it. Let's see what he can do here It's crushed. Can he make the play? No, because this character is ass However, he's got a bit of a funky base running going on here and we got Madge dead to right So you just run him down here. So we did end up getting one out, which is actually not so bad He does advance the runner a second, but you take that most days of the week now captain Diddy Kong up He's looking for another slice looking to make this a 13-7 ball game erase the one run I put up Can he do it? Lays off the outside pitch on the one two I don't know man 
A beautiful hit there. Gets the NATO. It is going to go foul, though. Lucky for us. So we remain at a 2-2 count. We go for the charge pitch, and he gets the perfect. Peach can't field it, but it's foul once again. A lucky break once more. And then he does it again, and Peach can't field it again. Waluigi would have made that play. We're going to catch him going to second here. Not going to get the out going back to first. It's 13-7. to Our deficit is back to six runs. He's really putting on an offensive performance here. Our offense, while not horrible, our defense is pretty ass. And what a shot there from King Boo. Almost puts that one over the fence, but Shy Guy able to make a nice jumping play. Baby Mario could never. And uh, he keeps that one in the park. So we're going to get out of this inning without any further damage, but 13-7 to is the deficit. We've got two innings to make that up. Let's see what we can do here. Baby Mario, the one and only leading us off here. Let's see what he does. Yep, that's, that's user error. It's okay. Oh my god, this character is ass! He's terrible! Oh my god, get this guy off the field. I'm never drafting this character again. Do not ever let me have a team with this character on it. That's horrible. He's actually horrible. And then Magic Koopa decides that he wants to hit the ball with all of his might. You're not that guy, man. You're not trying to put him out. You're just trying to get on base so the big guy in front of you can do this. Petey Piranha with an absolute tank. So we do pick up a home run. Nice little consolation prize for the inning. Make it 13-8. to Get that one run right back. The offense is honestly looking pretty good. You know, eight runs is very solid. It's just the defense wasn't. And look at that. Waluigi, once again, putting on the master class. That's what we're talking about, baby. Wario up once again. We want the charge swing. We want the home run. Can we do it? The meatball. We missed the Mamma Mia meatball. And then Wario puts it opposite field. Not going to get out, though. Just barely fall, fair, foul. Wow, I can't speak. And then the... Uh, the charge swing right into the glove of Toad, unfortunately. But we do put up one more run. It's a five-run ball game. If we can keep him here, we have a tall order in the bottom of the ninth. But it's in the, by no means impossible. Leading off with a beautiful hit from Blue Blob. Surprisingly, Baby Mario actually able to field the ball. Doesn't let it roll right past him. Insane. Insane, honestly. And here's the steal. Actually helps him avoid the double play. And then I barely on the ante. That's another reason why I don't have Peach on first. Because the ante with Wario. Just barely make the play. And then a beautifully executed hit and run is going to give him another run in this game. We are going to hit the cutoff, so we're going to get the out at second. But once again, the one run we put up has been erased nearly immediately. And then Toad going to hit one deep. Shy Guy gets under it to end the inning. But six runs is once again the deficit. Every run we put up is answered by one more in the past few innings. And here we go, leading off with Yellowfellow. He homered in his last at-bat. Can he do it again? He hits it opposite field. Toad ranging to his left. Right, rather. Makes the play. First out. Not looking great here. We have to go for the Falcon Pop, obviously. And honestly, it's a thing of beauty. Really, really good hit from, uh, from Shy Guy there to get on base. That's exactly what you got to do. Get us closer to the top of that lineup. Yellow Shy Guy. He's going to charge swing. Going to hit it right at Noki. And we are going to get doubled up. I thought he was going to catch it. Unfortunately, not the case. And that's going to be the game. So we fall in this one 14 to 8. Lose the first game of the series. And Boomerang Bro goes up 0 to 1. Be sure to tune in next time to see what happens in game 2. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Next one coming out soon. Thank you again. And have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.